Kenu Yahweh Nisai Yahweh Rohi Yahweh Rafa Yahweh Makadesh Yahweh Yaire You are marvelous You are awesome in this place and we acknowledge your presence by your Holy Spirit the unseen God yet who can be felt tangibly by your Holy Spirit who dwells in us moves among us is in all of us and yet fills the whole universe so that the whole universe knows the God who created the one who is known as Melech HaOlam, King and Sovereign over the whole universe, Emmanuel, the God who is with us. You are here. You are here. You are here. The Great I Am, majestic in splendor. Worthy to be worshipped. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be glorified. Worthy to be adored. Worthy to be honored. Worthy of all praise. We worship you. We magnify you. We exalt you. We extol your holy name. Him who rides upon the heaven and unto the Lamb be glory and honor and praise and power and wealth and might and dominion and majesty forever and ever and ever and ever throughout all eternity without beginning and without end the Lord Almighty, who alone is God, there is no other. We call upon you as we declare your holy name. Holy is your name. Majestic is your name. Righteous and true art thou, O God Almighty. Omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. There is no other. And this nation of Fiji acknowledges no other. As we stand in the gap on behalf of all the peoples, of all the 14 provinces, of all the districts, of all the villages, of all the tribes, of all the Matagalis, of all the Tokatoka, of all the Delaniyamu and all citizens named as a citizen of the nation of Fiji. We stand on their behalf 
and we declare and surrender to you the land asking you to come and be enthroned over this nation as Lord and King because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof for he has established it upon the waters and founded it upon the seas but who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord but he that has clean hands and a pure heart who does not lift up his heart to what is false nor does he swear deceitfully for such is the generation of those who seek the face of the God of Jacob Selah lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors that the King of glory may come in who is the King of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle he is the King of glory lift up your heads O ye gates and be lifted up ye everlasting doors that the King of glory may come in who is the King of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle he is the King of glory Yeshua is his name Yeshua Ben David Yeshua Hamashiach Yeshua Son of the Most High God Yeshua the ever living one Yeshua the faithful one to him be glory both now and forever as we journey into the second day of Rosh Hashanah hallelujah 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 heavenly father we blow the shofar yet again we declare your sovereignty over this nation despite what our forefathers did despite any covenants that may not please you despite any acts of disobedience yet today we are a generation that dares to believe in the breakthrough over this nation because of the authority you have given us through Jesus Christ your only begotten Son and by the Holy Spirit Lord you said in your word that the Lord himself said all authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me and he delegated that to his servants and said go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you and lo I shall be with you till the close of the age Lord we come to a time when it is like the close of the age and we know you are here and we come Heavenly Father with that authority you have given us and we submit this land and we blow the shofar yet once again at the time of Rosh Hashanah come oh rend the skies Heavenly Father come O oh, ever-living God come and have your way once again in this nation which you love and the people whom you have called that our prophetic destiny will come alive again that we will know our identity and purpose in you that we will know our destiny in you and that we will rise as with wings as eagles that we will run and not grow weary and we shall walk and not faint our time has come and we shall declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living and the acceptable year of the Lord Amen.
Father, this land cries out to you. This nation cries out to you. The church cries out to you at the time of Rosh Hashanah. Our voice, Lord, is in your courts. Your people long for your visitation in a mighty way yet once again. This is the time of the new beginning, Lord. This is the time of your favor. This is the time, Lord, where we know you have come to reestablish the covenant commitment that was forgotten. We come before you in this time and we will rise by faith in the name of Yeshua to declare once again your victory in the second day of Rosh Hashanah based on the finished work on the cross at Calvary. Lord, we are about to recite what is commonly now known as the Lord's Prayer. And I pray, Father, that as we recite this solemnly in your presence, Lord, that you will enact the laws and principles of this prayer into our hearts that we may know what we ought to do as ambassadors of your kingdom in these last days even as we enter the 10 days of awe towards Yom Kippur in Jesus name Amen let us recite together the Lord's prayer as it is given unto us Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever and God God's people said Amen Let's give a shout unto the Lord A shout unto the Lord A shout unto the Lord Yesterday I mentioned that God had called the males to appear before him three times during the cycle of the year. Today I will call for 14 males 
I will call a province out. And whoever feels inspired come and stand. And you will be identified by the province that I call out. We are going to do a declaration during the second day of Rosh Hashanah as we after submitting the nation to the Lord and praying for the provinces will stand in the gap in a very prophetic way today. I will call the province name. If you feel inspired come and stand before the Lord to represent the 14 provinces. Lau The Kaunrove Amen Mbua If you feel inspired as a male to stand before the Lord for Mbua feel free to come Father, thank you for Mbua. Thank you for Mbua. Maduata. Amen. 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 Lomai Viti. Amen. 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 Kandabu. Amen. 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 Te levo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Naita siri. Amen. 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 Ra. Rewa. Amen. 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 Nanronga na bosa. Young people, do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. If anyone is inspired to stand, stand also on behalf of the next generation. For those of you that are standing, ask God for revelation for each of the provinces that you are standing for. You will carry that province in prayer in this time of Rosh Hashanah as we move into the second day of Rosh Hashanah into the ten days of all. Namusi. Ba. Fourteen provinces represented before the Lord. 
lau the kaun robe mbua madwata lo mai viti kandavu tailevu naitasiri ra rewa nanronga na vosa Seruana Mosi Mba All standing before the Lord today Think about the province that you are standing for As you ask God for revelation Think about the strategies to pray for this province In the time of Rosh Hashanah as we move into the 10 days of awe the well known scripture comes into play again if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face then will i hear from heaven forgive their sin and heal their land for each of the provinces you know well there is a chiefly title for each of the chiefly title is a spiritual responsibility yet for each of these chiefly titles in the past years questions have arisen because of its governance because of the spiritual responsibilities for each of these provinces before God yet God calls the nation back to himself just as he calls Israel but one of the keys which bind the people and prevent them from coming to the full knowledge of Christ is their own hard-heartedness where they have become dull of hearing as you stand in the gap for each of these provinces I'd like you to slowly begin to strategize with the Holy Spirit leading on how to tackle the powers over each of these provinces and the principalities they are connected to to the church that watches to those even on live stream wherever you are stand also in the gap and join with these as they strategize with the Holy Spirit in submitting the province, the land and bringing into submission to the Lordship of Jesus Christ everything that has to do with this province to those of you here in the house be reaching out to pray this is our time together in Rosh Hashanah to pray for this nation as we move into the times of awe and repent on behalf of this nation and declare on behalf of this nation as you do so I'd like one of the ladies one of the lady elders would you please go outside and pick up 14 stones and bring it before these men Amen Thank you.
you, Lord. Thank 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 you, Jesus. Father, in the beginning, you created the heavens and the earth. And as you did so, Fiji was a part of the earth you created. With your heavenly mandate that this nation would also serve you. That this nation would also bring glory to your name. That this nation would come alongside Eretz Israel and perform her function for your glory. Today, we stand again on the second day of Rosh Hashanah. There are 14 males that have dared to appear before you on behalf of this nation and its 14 provinces. And as they strategize by the leading of your Holy Spirit, I pray that you will bring revelation into their spirit and mind that they will know how to pray for each of the provinces they are standing with this evening. Lord, in the days of awe towards Yom Kippur, we are called to reflect. We are called to come in repentance. We are called to stand in the gap. We are called to recite your commandments and to think over your goodness and what you want from us and to amend our ways. Tonight, these 14 males who appear before you on behalf of the congregation and on behalf of this nation and on behalf of the 14 provinces and what it represents, Lord, they will prophetically pray through what you by your Holy Spirit want us to pray through. And as we do so by faith, I pray, Father, that you will cause breakthroughs in the spiritual realm. I want you to place a rock into the hand of each of these men. As you receive a rock, clasp it firmly, close your eyes, and try to hear what the Holy Spirit tells you. Hallelujah. 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 The rock is an element of this earth that was created. It is hard. It is, has its own texture. And the materials which make it the rock that it is. In your hand feel its hardness. Let it be known that there are times when the rulers of each of the provinces and the peoples in each of the provinces, its districts, its villages, its tribes, its clans, its household units, and all the members of each of these provinces, there are times when their very heart is hardened like that rock. As you stand in the gap 
for the provinces that you stand for ask God in light of 2nd Chronicles 7 14 for forgiveness for the hardness of heart of its chiefs leaders and people including at times the hardness of heart of those in the church itself stand in the gap and ask for forgiveness for the hardness of heart of the people of the province whether the hardness represents witchcraft the hardness represents disobedience the hardness represents idolatry and any other thing that is not of God let the Holy Spirit lead you into praying for that province. Stand in the gap and intercede. Travail in prayer. And petition for the breakthrough that God wants over that province right now. Church, body of Christ, petition in. Join in prayer. Raise your voice. Seek him. Stand in the gap. prophesy and say to the stone that the hardness of hearts of the people shall be broken by the word of the Lord based on the finished work on the cross at Calvary redemption will come over that province declare the end to witchcraft the end to Freemasonry the end to the occult declare the, the deliverance of the Lord declare freedom in the name of Jesus and that the hardness of heart will be broken and that the people shall come to know the Lord and the knowledge of the word of God shall flood the land as the waters cover the sea. Hallelujah. Amen. As you pray through and as you declare breakthrough, release the stone into the talit, the prayer covering. And symbolically it represents that the Lord has come to cover. The Lord is the covering over this nation. And the Lord will come to cover over our sins based on the finished work on the cross at Calvary. Hallelujah. 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 Surely the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. And just as he is compassionate towards Israel, his people, so is he towards this nation, Fiji. He will visit this nation in a mightier way. Your prayers are not forgotten.
Your labor is not in vain. For surely the Lord is God of breakthrough. He is the God of Jeshurun who rides on the clouds. And in heavenly glory he will visit this land as he has promised. Hallelujah. Men, now hold hands one to another and form your bond of manhood and Christ likeness in Jesus. Close the circle, men. Come, come, close the circle, men. Come, come, close the circle in your bond of unity. For this circle is like a ring. The ring is used in the covenant of marriage. As you hold hands representing the 14 provinces, you represent the covenant of a marriage relationship between the provinces and God Almighty who has already promised his blessing over this nation. As you hold hands, pray for the nation, pray for the province beside you as the Holy Spirit leads pray for your brother pray for the leader submit each and every one that comes under its province declare the unity of God in Christ Jesus behold how good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity Hallelujah. 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 Friends, can we rise, please, as they pray? Can we stand, please? As the men pray, I'm going to blow the whistle prophetically to the north, south, east, and west, calling the people of this nation to come to the Lord. And as I blow the whistle to the north, I want the whole congregation to shout. As I blow the whistle to the south, I want the congregation to shout with a heavenly shout and to the east and to the west and I want the people to shout shout with a mighty shout and do not hold back this is the day of awe and we are moving before the Lord to summon the nation to come and worship Jesus as the Lord and King get ready congregation I'm going to blow the whistle to the north I want you to shout as loud as you can and bring heaven on earth tonight Ready? We call to the north. We call to the south. We call to the east. We call to the west. Let us continue to shout all the more.
Hallelujah. 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 Un día. Amén. 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 Amen. Amen. Can the worship team just come together and sing and worship together? Let's sing the song we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the Lord. We have overcome. This is Rosh Hashanah. It's a time of trumpets and blowing in victory. And it's a time to sing, we have overcome. By the blood of the Lamb and the word of the Lord, we have overcome. Worship Him. Let's worship Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Lord, in your holiness, we once again utter these words over this nation, Fiji. In the time of Rosh Hashanah, we come once again, one with your people, Israel, and declare Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Elohim, Zevaot, Asher Haya, Vehoveh Veavo, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, the whole earth is filled with His glory. And on Donu, and on Donu, and on Donu, Cochioma Nilebunga, you are on Botiloma Langi Kevura Bura, than on eighteen yar, Kedan on a Langi Langi. We come once again, even like last night, Father, to join with the four living creatures. And the 24 elders and the hosts and the multitudes of heaven in worshiping you and we lay our crowns at your feet that this house may be like Beit Shachar the house of worship because we come to worship you in your presence where there is fullness of joy we are undone as it were. For none can hide from you. We long to be in your presence. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. For we would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Our hearts long in pilgrimage to be with you. And yet at this time of Rosh Hashanah, there's work to be done. And tonight we prophetically do so, knowing, O oh God, that our duty as your servant and ambassadors is to establish your kingdom on this earth. We give you thanks and we give you praise. Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come, in Yeshua's mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Come on, high five to your brother. Hug your brother. Declare the unity of the body in the provinces that you represent. house of worship, the house of prayer. Beit Tefila. Beit Lechem. Beit Shacha. Beit El. Hallelujah. We are on a journey. God is not finished with us yet. But a mighty work He is doing in your midst. In this nation. For great is the Holy One of Israel in our midst. Amen. Now I don't know. Maybe the Lord spoke to somebody. Brother Ironi or any one of the men. Feel free to come forth. And share if there's anything the Lord wants you to share before we move into the presentation. If there's anyone. Amen.
stone was with this one voice that came. I love you, my son. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Amen. Anyone else heard from the Lord? When someone hears from God, I love you, that means the Father heart of God is speaking to this nation, to the sons of the kingdom, daughters of the kingdom. God is affirming his love that we may know that he loves us and he longs to reach out to us. The hidden treasures of this nation will be revealed. Amen. The hidden treasures of this nation will be revealed. Praise God. God is a God who will unearth his treasures for his people and for his glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anyone else who may have heard a word? Praise God. Remember, you're not taking up my time. This is God's show. I'm not the guest here. I'm just a servant. Every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess. That I am Jehovah. I am Yahweh. In line with scripture. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. That I am Jehovah Yahweh. Praise God. That is the finality of all that is. For no matter where we are, the time will come when he appears. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Any other revelations? Praise God. Breakthrough is coming. Breakthrough is coming. Breakthrough is coming. Breakthrough is coming. It reminds us of Perez, the son that was born because he broke through. So the God of Perez, which means breakthrough, is speaking to each and every one of us that no matter what we are going through, no matter what you may be going through, what this nation is going through, the church is going through, breakthrough is coming. And that requires our perseverance. Amen. Any other revelations? Amen. Praise God. Well, before we were called out as men, I, last night I got the anchor of the three feasts in which the man is to appear. They have to appear before the Lord. Before we were called out uh, and during our worship, I was feeling uneasy. I didn't know what's happening. Uh, I felt the presence of the Lord. Then I felt that God was telling me, take off your shoes. In obedience, I did it. And as I stood, we've been called out in the provinces. I know there are some from Thailand here, but God told me to represent Thailand tonight. Before we even hold the, the rock or the stones in our hands, I saw the whole of province of Thailand. And I see what Pastor Steve Penny said regarding a prophecy regarding the nation that there's a tall tree. And that tall tree is the spirit of I am. The force I am. He said it's visible in the church, it's visible in the Vanua, it's visible everywhere. Where people say my way is better, my way is better, or the other way is better. That's the spirit of I am that's operating in this nation. It's like a tall tree. Tonight, as we walk up as men, and as we represent the 14 province, I saw the tree tilted, and not only tilted, but it's being uprooted. 
And it's funny that the Lord began the revelation from the border, Thai level borders from Tokotoka. It's been uprooted that way. And the tree fell towards Bau. And I see the roots all over the Viti level and Vonua level. There's nothing else. Even the main root is all being exposed. And once that old tree drags its root and it's everything out, I see the new nation. And it's sparkling. That's the new Fiji. And now a new tree is being planted by the Lord. He said, I will cut down the top cedar of the most high tree. And I will plant it in the highest ground of Israel. And I, the Lord, will cause it to grow. And it will become the tall tree in the land. He says that the birds of the air, the beast of the sea, uh, the beast of the, of the field shall rest under the shadow. And he said, that new tree is a new governmental order. When I'm talking about that in the spiritual realm, there will be a new order that God will install within the body of Christ. It's like the body is not ready, but God is enlisting armies. He's looking for for people who are ready to be enlisted in this move. And I saw a new Fiji and I saw a new tree. It's a tree of life in Revelation 22. It has tall fruits near the river and it never go dry. When I was praying for Taylor and I see the roots all over this tree, all over the nation, the province, and all these roots, one by one, they begin to pull away from the from the earth pull away from from the land and i thank god that he told me take off your shoes because there's got to be he's going to move tonight and he has moved i give him the honor and the praise hallelujah when feet are described the Jews say, Baruch haba beshem Adonai. Baruch means blessed. Beshem Adonai means the name of the Lord. And when it comes to feet, it says, Blessed are the feet of those who bring the good news of the Lord. Baruch haba beshem Adonai. Blessed are the feet of those who bring the good news. So when feet are described, it is the gospel that will enter the land. It is the light of the word of God that will cause the change. It is the word of God and its power and prophetic nature that will uproot the tree that is already being seen as uprooted. It will manifest because Mbau is also being eyed by the Lord for changes to come even from now and into the next month. This is the month of Tishrei, the seventh month. And next month will be the eighth month. And it is into that eighth month, eight being new beginning, that a new beginning will happen in Bau, as you have stated. Things have already begun to be uprooted. Changes have already begun which will be manifested and the name of the Lord of hosts the great I am will be known in Tailevu specifically in Bau and also in other chiefly households to the glory of the name of Yeshua and all God's people say it. Amen let's give a clap offering to God. You may take your seats, gentlemen. Friends, in line with what has been shared, in line with uh, the revelation about Mbau, next week, on the 30th of this month, as we move towards uh, Tabernacles, there will be a meeting and the meeting will be 
with the talatalangase lebu wasiwasi ombau Reverend Mo the Kau of Calvary Temple AOG Pastor Chosua Lawanua from the Faith Clinic and a few of us to decide on the program of the installation of the Rokotuimbau and it is in that program we are going to weed out the unnecessaries and uh, ensure that the glory of Jesus is maintained in that installation where he will not drink the cup of Yangona but instead there will be a communion and he will drink the cup of the Lord and that will happen on the 28th of October and I pray that you understand that this is also the fruit of your prayers as you've been battling for this nation so God is at work to will and to work for his own good pleasure Amen Amen. While that is going on, there may be viewers on live stream. We praise God for your life. And as you view, we pray that you've also been blessed by all that is happening tonight. It is for the glory of Yeshua as we do things that he himself, by his Holy Spirit, allows us to go through. Yesterday we began with the journey. Amen. Tonight, we move on the journey of Rosh Hashanah into Yom Kippur and Sukkot. What color is the word Rosh Hashanah on the screen? Green. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Look at the green that is here. Hallelujah. Green in the kingdom means growth. And Rosh Hashanah is also called the agricultural new year. So it is a time of planting and sowing seeds or looking at the harvest that comes after the planting. So the color green is about growth. It's about harvest because God is a God who allows growth to come forth when you sow a seed. Praise God. So Rosh Hashanah we are celebrating and we are declaring the harvest of God. We are declaring growth of God in our lives. And we are also declaring that with that growth, things will be fulfilled to His glory. Fiji shall grow into the stature that God wants it to be. Your spiritual life shall grow into the stature that God wants it to be. Rosh Hashanah is about celebrating growth, celebrating victory, celebrating the growth of your spiritual life and celebrating that in your seed a harvest will come amen praise God what is the color of Yom Kippur red red in the kingdom is concerning atonement and redemption because Yom Kippur is the day of atonement and it represents the blood of the worthy lamb that was slain to receive all glory and honor and praise and power and wealth and might forever that red symbolizes the blood that washes the blood that cleanses the blood that redeems the blood that saves and the blood that speaks much better than the blood of goats and bulls it is blood that is holy and blood that is powerful for without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins therefore it is blood that washes whiter than snow and washes our sin Yom Kippur is the day of atonement now what color is Sukkot okay some said orange some said gold my sister Terry said it looks like orange some said gold. Well, I meant it to be gold. Gold because uh, gold represents the divine nature of Christ. Amen. 
in the kingdom gold represents divinity the divine nature of Christ Rosh Hashanah we celebrate a harvest growth we declare victory the blowing of the trumpet to also remind us that he is coming back when the trump shall sound it is a return of victory because the angel said men of Galilee why do you spend time looking up this Jesus who was taken up in the like manner he shall return so it is a return of victory and we celebrate that also during Rosh Hashanah and in that victory we declare victory we move in victory and we grow in victory praise God but when you journey the first day of Rosh Hashanah has passed yesterday today as we move into the second we move into a period that is called sorry Okay, yesterday that was what we did. Day two, journey into the days of awe. The days of awe is what we had done tonight. And that was to come together. As a people, as families, as a nation. And to repent. To seek the Lord. And in line with the scripture already quoted. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way then will I hear from heaven I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land amen journey into the days of all we have done that and there are ten days the first yesterday second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and then tenth day ten is the day of atonement and it is called Yom Kippur Yom means day Kippur comes from Kippa which is to cover that is why we got the stones representing the hardness of the heart of the people we repented of that it was placed in the Talit which is a covering and then we covered it to represent that God has promised to come and cover us me umbi kenda and a boxy seal and non de volvada, need the sabebutuni, a lacomen on an rame umbi kenda, cabocas of savati kenda. Atonement is about covering. Praise God. So we journey from the blowing of the shofar in Rosh Hashanah through the ten days of awe into day ten, which is the day of atonement, which is also known in in the Jewish calendar as the holiest day of the Jewish calendar it is the day where you by now should know where the priest goes in once a year and makes atonement for himself he's a human and then the atonement of the people based on his authority given by the Lord but those times have passed we have Yeshua Jesus who is our high priest and he has gone before us once and for all and by his blood has made atonement so that for all those who come to him he is able to cleanse and sanctify and present before the father birth as sons of the kingdom Amen. day of atonement Yom Kippur this is the month of Tishrei yesterday was the first day of that month today is the second we are moving into and on the tenth day towards the end of this month 30th and on after that we are moving into the day of atonement then after that day 15 is the feast of tabernacles or Sukkot all on the same month first day Rosh Hashanah tenth day Yom Kippur the day of atonement and on the 15th day of the same month it is known as Sukkot Sukkot comes from the base word Sukkah S-U-C-C-A Sukkah is a shelter a booth that's why it's called the feast of booths the feast of shelters or the feast of tabernacle but it points to the Lord Jesus Christ who longs to come to tabernacle with his people 
anongu vale na lomanda na tamata praise the lord amen he longs to tabernacle with his people to manifest himself to his people in a mightier way we are flesh and blood mere mortals but the lord is going to change our bodies to a glorified physical body and in that time we shall truly see him as he is tabernacles and then for seven days going on the eighth after the tabernacles day 22 is celebrating the law and it's called simkat torah the celebration of the law now you may say what is simkat torah what is the celebration of the law the jews have a habit they read the bible the torah the scroll from the beginning of the year to the end of the year so that when it comes to tabernacle they are coming towards the end of the reading of the torah they are faithful to read each day of the year until the end of the year where they reach new year and moving into the new year it comes to day of atonement sukkot and then to simkat torah that is when they finish the reading and at the end of the seal during the feast of tabernacles that's when they lift up the scroll and they wave it before the lord and they dance with all their might thank you lord we have finished reading your word in the course of one year we've come before you three times in the year and this is the third time and we have finished the reading of the law and by your law we shall live it is your law that we shall follow we have come to align ourselves once again to your law we had gone astray we have come through the days of awe we realize that we have gone our own way now we come back to you we thank you for your atoning sacrifice and here we have come to the end of the reading of your word which is lamp for our feet and a light for our path your word which is true your word which is holy your word which is powerful your word which is mighty and your word which is living active sharper than a two-edged sword which is able to discern asunder to the bone and marrow and discovers the thoughts and the intents of the heart that is the power of your word and we celebrate it today we celebrate it today then they dance and the priest encourages the people and they dance before the Lord in Simkat Torah that is a celebration of the law that's why to the Jews the law of God is holy and very important for their daily life which is why it is said this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth but you shall meditate on it day and night for then you shall be careful to observe all that is written in it have I not commanded you be strong and courageous amen amen the law of the Lord is perfect says the word of the Lord in the Psalms friends you have dared to celebrate Rosh Hashanah the enemy does not like it but in your daring nature the Lord is pleased and thus because you have dared the spirit of the lion of the tribe of Judah roars within you and this is no time to be afraid this is no time to be holding back this is no time to be dilly-dallying and saying I can't do it this is the time to rise up and say I can with God as my helper I can scale a mountain I can climb over a wall I will overcome this is your time because the spirit of the lion of the tribe of Judah roars within you and you cannot contain it this is your time and you need to be excellent in all temperature listen and listen well God speaks sometimes in the most unusual of all ways today in the morning after doing my quiet time I was drawn so strongly to look at a soap powder detergent what a soap powder detergent listen carefully what does a detergent do it cleans clothes 
it washes brighter than white I was drawn to this detergent and it said Sudso S-U-D-S-O and on the side it says excellent in all temperatures listen and listen well and the word of the Lord came to me look at the letters this is what I want you to be S-U-D-S-O Sudso you need to be supernaturally uploaded dangerous and spiritually overflowing it may sound crazy but there are times when God by his spirit brings a revelation your function is to be like this detergent when you speak the word cleansing power should come where there is darkness and dirt the word of the Lord should cleanse based on the finished work you should be supernaturally uploaded you should be dangerous and you should be spiritually overflowing and you should be excellent in all temperatures when the temperature comes it's hot you are excellent and performing when it is freezing and people go for the blanket you are excellently performing when it's normal you are excellently performing so whether it's cold hot or normal you are excellent in your performance you need to be like the function of that sad so Sp supernaturally uploaded dangerous and spiritually overflowing you can only minister out of the overflow if there's nothing in you what can you give you need to be uploaded may upload my nabosanikalo mosinaikina supernaturally uploaded and when you are supernaturally uploaded like an armor or an ammunition you are dangerous in the spiritual realm and because you are supernaturally uploaded you are also spiritually overflowing and out of the spiritual overflow at all temperatures high freezing whatever the temperature you are always excellent because the fruit of the spirit flows out of you the weapons of your warfare are not carnal but they are mighty to the breaking down of strongholds friends in this season when you have dared to declare Rosh Hashanah and the victory of God in its proper time the enemy will not like it but I am asking each one of you 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 each one of you each one of you each one of you to be supernaturally uploaded in the Word of God and the power of his might to be dangerous to the enemy who does not like you and to be spiritually overflowing with the fruit of the Spirit knowing the ammunition and power you have because of the weapon of warfare that you have friends there is much to do in this nation there is much to do in the nations of the world there is much to do amongst our people and even in the Ita okay but there are also other elements that have come in with our own prayer for the Ita okay there are our Indian brothers our Chinese brothers they also have the excess baggage that we must deal with they have other principalities and powers that are attached to them then there's uh, things to do with the Freemasonry and the occult and witchcraft that we battle with but we have dared to celebrate Rosh Hashanah in a most significant way in this place the beam of light that goes up when we declare the shofar and the worship from this place is like a beam that has reverberated into the heavens and has shaken this nation God knows what he is doing through you the question is will you last during this journey because you can also be tried since the enemy does not like what you do 
to whom much is given much is required Luke chapter 12 verse 48 to whom much is given much is required you are groomed in the place of prayer and intercession prophetic nature you are given much giftings of vision prophecy tongues interpretation prophetic things we are all given much but there is much required of us as well to everyone watching on live stream to all of us here remember the word of the, the Lord stands sure bearing this seal in these end times let those who name the name of the Lord depart from evil to whom much is given much is required let those who name the name of the Lord depart from evil when we are daring to go this high with God and growth is coming let's be careful of the things that come from the side to stunt our growth or to prevent us from being fruitful to whom much is given much is required in this growth we'll have to learn to weed out the thorns and the things that try to come and pull us down we are tempted with evil the inclinations of our heart but whatever it is that comes against us we are called to be overcomers we are called to be ministers of the gospel and we are called to be proclaimers of the good news that sets the captive free we've talked about this last night but I'm asking us yet once again as we move into the third day tomorrow and onwards till the tenth day we you reach the day of atonement give thanks for the purpose of each of the feasts seven feasts in all but each has a purpose and a meaning and ultimately each point to the one who calls whether it be Pesach unleavened bread first fruit Shavuot or yesterday Rosh Hashanah we are moving towards Yom Kippur and then the last on the 15th day celebrating for seven going on to the eighth where they celebrate the law each of the feasts of the Lord have a meaning you have an identity you have a purpose and you have a destiny the question is will you make it to your final destiny or like thorns that crowd the seed planted will you die out remember the scorching heat high temperature remember the thorns and the thistles that come and cover you and then you become cold where are you sad so supernaturally uploaded dangerous spiritually overflowing excellent in all temperatures scorching heat or freezing cold from the side or from the back above and beyond is your character because great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of you now I want you to recite those acronym the alphabets to the person next to you to prove that you have understood what God wants from you S U D S O think about it and recite it to someone next to you And for those of you on live stream as well may the power of the Holy Spirit reach through the waves of the live stream and touch you as you recite the words of revelation that God wants you to be supernaturally uploaded with the Word of God to be dangerous in front of the enemy and to be spiritually overflowing with the character of God, the fruit of the Spirit and having the armor 
of God and the armor of the Spirit. Amen. Friends, I'd like to ask the worship team to come. Worship team, this is your time. Let us all rise and let's let go before the Lord. In worship or praise, let him deal and just celebrate the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Feel free to respond to the Holy Spirit tonight. Wherever you are standing or here at the altar, just learn to let go before God. Praise and petition, surrender and worship. Let Him have His way. Tell Him you are ready to be used. Tell Him you will not shrink back. Season of harvest has arrived. The wilderness fades from view. I can taste the milk and honey of my seasons of breakthroughs. Sound the trumpets as we sing out the song. Oh, with triumph. As we sing out this song Oh, with triumph in the Lord Lead me, Lord, to the center of your will And let it be the heartbeat of the nation of peace
10 days of old. Joe, Joe, get the mic, please. They start shining on me. Hallelujah. Just look down. This is our last time. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the 
name of Jesus. They stars. They start shining. They start shining. They start shining. Anywhere you go. Psychologically and emotionally, you will be attacked on the front. Death cannot have any grip or longer over you. As those attacks come in, move in the spirit. Arise and shine. Move in the spirit. Go in your spirit, man. Yes, you will see the day star. You will see Jesus. You will see his power. You will see his glory. Somebody with me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Father, let her receive that now. Yes. That sparkling in her eyes. The sad soul. Hmm will be much greater in our life spiritually and supernaturally uploaded upload 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 the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus we thank you father stretch your eyes move give strategy give wisdom give deeper understanding yes for her for her life for her family for her for her mm -mm. get ready get ready God is just saying get ready your package you have a surprise God has a surprise for you mm -mm. it's like birthday present but it's much more sweeter than birthday hallelujah thank you Jesus everybody just yes yes Lord just touch your knees father thank you Lord I'm seeing this somebody just say I receive that in Jesus name Yes, this power, this power, color blue is coming in. White, so, so, so majestic. Hallelujah. Yes, take hold of your knees now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Father. I pray, shalak anointing upon the land. Yes, in Jesus. Messiah anointing upon that in Jesus' name. Let it be filled. Let it be filled. Let it be filled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Light. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Father, I release the power of money. 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 Finances. 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 Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be attracted to those hands. As the hands move. As the feet walk, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, Father, in Jesus' name. This is the season of growth. Green, growth, green, growth, green, growth. Represents harvest, represents growth, growth. I declare growth, 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 growth. Yes, growth. Season, Kairos time. Now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 
Father God, thank you so much. We end this session, oh God, and those who are watching live stream. We stand in your presence. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. He did it again. Yes, Lord. He did it again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. It is coming from my heart. It is coming from my heart. My raise and place it to you, Lord. Hey. All the things that you have done. I'm waiting for your love. That's your body language. Dancing like Kaibiti. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that again. Let your body language prophesy. Come on. It is coming to yeah. my heart. Praise and thanks to you, Lord. All the things that you have done. I'm grateful for your love. I give you a praise.
Five steps towards me. Five steps. Call on me. One, two, five, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Salah ko chuna dance. Salah ko chuna kato doksa tu me. Mamba family. Tell them to step five steps towards you. Five. That's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to fast track everything this season now. There's something. He's talk about speed. Speed. So not kind of stagnant to our speed. Physically, spiritually, mentally, financially. Amen? Lift up your hands, both of you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, Yes, let that speed, that anointing, that anointing fall on them now. In the name of Jesus. In their workplace. In the workplace. Ah. Father, I break the chain. The chain. I break the chains. I break the chains. I break the chains. Break. In Jesus' name. This is a mighty man of God. Mighty man of valor mighty men of war like Jesus Christ his father there's going to be a resemblance and anointing and increase of intimacy with him ah, it's happening in a spiritual man now yes all the words that have been abrogated in, incubated in your mind in your heart they went to rise up this season of Rosh Hashanah in Jesus mighty name thank you father we love you. We adore you. We honor you. Thank you for the families that are here. Ten days of all is our mission as we continue to pray for the nation. What a time. What a time of prayer. What a time of fellowship with you, Father. As we reach the seven days, the day of atonement, even though we won't be in Jerusalem, but we will pray. We will observe along the way in this nation as we pray as watchmen. You have set watchmen. They have placed strategically upon this nation and they are praying. Thank you, Father. We watch and we pray. This is our prayer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I like the men of God. Let's just go around them. Please, this family. Pastor, can we just come? Yes. Yes. House of prayer, please just encircle. Just move closer as we pray for him. What a time. My, where's a man, woman? Those prayer warriors come in close to them.
sing the song. The portal is open. Da -da -da -da. While the song is being sung, pray for him now. Life changing moment, you won't be the same, the same way you came. Yes. Cause he's in now, bearing this. You will be healed, delivered. He's here to set you free, and because God. is a portal himself on his right hand on his right side there's Israel on his left there's Fiji he has to be a top priority in our prayer now he is the ambassador of our God 
for the nation of Fiji to Israel. Churches have overlooked this man. Pastors overlooked him. Most of them just used him for their own program, but they don't see him. In the spirit, now God has shown Fiji House of Prayer how valuable this man is. He may be simple, just easy and outgoing, but he carries with him two nations. He carries with him two nations. God so his heart. Fiji House of Prayer will not use him like any other churches or body of Christ. He is not, he doesn't grace our platform just because we invited him for this program. Fiji House of Prayer will change. We will change. We will change. He has delivered God Almighty's message to us. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I see oil. He has been overlooked. He has been used. They just use him. They don't see in the spirit to see. There's a flask from heaven tilted towards him. He walks with it. He journeys to Israel every year. They never see the connection. He's building a bridge. He is building a bridge. His heart cry is the 13th, 14, the 14 provinces. His heart cry is the nation. He takes his heart with him. He dance and he worship you in Jerusalem. The nation of Fiji didn't see the value. But Father, we repent on behalf of the churches that have overlooked your anointing on this man. We recognized the anointing on his life. He was born for such a time as this. In this mother's womb, he was, she was carried, she carried him for nine months. The incubation and the plan, constellations were in arrangement so that they are in alignment. Just for this, he has this passion to proclaim in the nation the good feast of the Lord and the ear of the Lord and the favor of the Lord. We stand tonight at the house of prayer. We recognize the man of God. We recognize the anointing. Father, I lay hands on him because I see the oil. It's tilting from the clouds of heaven. We will bow down to this anointing, Father. Every time he will grace the podium of Fiji House of Prayer, Fiji House of Prayer will bow down to the anointing. Because we know by bowing down to the anointing of this man of God, we, the house of prayer, will be increased in our fuel tanks, supernaturally uploaded, dangerous, in Jesus' name. Father, thank you so much. House of prayer, this is the ambassador to, for Fiji to Israel. He is the president of the Internet for the ISCJ, International Christian Embassy for Jerusalem. He is not just an ordinary man. He's a man called by God. He's not just a school teacher. He is a man of God. We respect the anointing. We will bow down to the anointing because of what you carry. What you carry. It needs a structure. 
house of prayer is ready to be that structure for your life to sit upon that basement in Jesus mighty name Father there's an overflow coming out from this man but that overflow is pouring out of his back and everywhere he turns from now onward it's like there will be rivers made there's a power that just moves behind him it's like those heavenly diggers they dig those drains and the anointing that rolls out from him that pours out from him will have marks on every place that will trend now he is about to move across the nation he will not be in one place he's about to be moved across the 13 provinces thank you father thank you Jesus you are setting things up there's a setup be done in the spiritual realm and we thank you and we praise you Father God, this is our prayer. We honor you and we love you. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Amen. He's our ambassador. Hallelujah. Meet Mr. Ambassador. There's an anointing in this man. House of Prayer recognizes the anointing. Hallelujah. So whenever he comes in and preach, there's an anointing will release upon all of us. We will also increase that anointing. Amen. So after this, the Fiji House of Prayer will make its calendars. And those calendars where we'll recognize the feasts. Hallelujah. We'll bring in our prayer warriors from across. They are in the villages. Some of them are chiefs. We'll approach them to come. Hallelujah. Such a time as this. We have chiefs already in, in this house. We have chiefly families in here. We'll have the Turangani Matangalis that are here already. Amen. We thank God. He is a good soil. I've never done this before. We have to plant a seed in this man. It's coming. We have to plant the seed on this soil. He has shown us green. keep on planting seed today and tomorrow they'll be here tomorrow hallelujah they'll be here today and they'll be here tomorrow I know some of you just got your card with you there's nothing with you but tomorrow you come hallelujah our ambassador needs everything from us home country has to look after them Amen. Logistic wise, his family. That's our job now. Hallelujah. He's a good seed, good ground. Praise the Lord. 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 To sing the first song. The seed coming in. Lilies of the valley. Just the first. Just the first one. Yes. Hallelujah. Let it sweet aroma feel my life. Hallelujah. He'll be going, he'll be traveling to the Feast of the Tabernacles. We'll call the seed. Contributions How from the house of prayers. In God's Amen. Across the Fiji, get ready. A call is coming. We have to plant in the celebration. He's going. Next year, we are all going. Amen. Hallelujah. Make me a reflection of yes. your eyes. Praise the Lord. Amen. There are more seeds coming tomorrow. Amen. Taste and shine on me. Praise the Lord. That you love 
more seeds coming in tomorrow. Amen. Praise the Lord. Leave me, Lord, I'll follow everywhere you open that the door. Hallelujah. Let you ask me to me. Show me what I've never seen. Myself and my family and my wife thank you all families and fathers as parents for bringing your children and your family to this celebration amen it's just began my next year is going to be a big celebration the crossover we used to do on the um, December 31st no more this is the real celebration the crossover the Ivrim amen so by next year, get your calendar ready so we'll see everything that we will celebrate. Because these are the portals, these are the feasts of the Lord. Amen. So thank you so much. As the man of God shared last time, and he said, three feasts in which the Jews, men, they take their families with him. I was sitting there and I said, My God. I was crying and I said, Lord, thank you for the obedience. We are here bringing our family. We men. There's some of us, we are not here, but the men are here. So women, our wives, okay, you're blessed tonight. Indeed. Because a man choose to come here. Hallelujah. And we thank God for that. Thank you so much. This is our last day together. Please, we have been commanded. Ten days counting. This is the second day. Count. Go back to your family and count until the 10th we'll see what the lord on yom kippur amen day of atonement maybe we'll meet up again somewhere keep on keep on keep on praying hallelujah hallelujah tomorrow our program changes by 9 a.m we are all in the beach please uh, just see joe for any further qualifications and there will be a just a barbecue just to celebrate the rosa shan eh? So come prepared and then enjoy just a time with the children and the time with the family. We end here tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We began with him. We end with him. And thank you for everybody. The seeds, the prayers, 
never ever before the preparation coming in from families are such they fasted and they pray just for this day and I know as we blow the shofar today and they said just shout out and then they kept on blasting the shofar I was shouting out I didn't know I nearly fell on the floor because I was short of breath then again I, I, I want Lord just don't take out the breath please keep on keep on because I don't want to miss the blast and my shouting it out unto the Lord because I know the walls are coming down they crumble tonight nations in the name of Jesus hallelujah so turn to your partner okay just say something <laughs> it's ended amen thank you so much thank you so much tomorrow at nine o'clock we meet down in the beach but the beach the location of the beach please see Joe he's the beach manager he knows He's working closely with the uh, with the company, and he handles everything. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Okay, thank you so much. God bless you. Please, before you go out, just move around, just shake hands. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Maya. Okay, okay. 